Hi, I'm Adam Willis. I'm a director based in Los Angeles, California. How original. Hi there. Hi, I'm Adam Willis. I'm on a cut. Yeah, I like old stuff. I like things that have some texture and some character and some weathered quality to them. It's not in a, a nostalgic way or a cute way. I just think old things have a little bit more magic to them or just a little bit more interest. I love practical effects and I love sci-fi and I had just been working with an amazing guy, Evan, who built some robots for me and I thought man it'd be really cool to build a practical spaceship a little model I'd done that a little bit in the past but you know to kind of go to the next level and build this working thing that we could shoot I always like to experiment with shooting on a high resolution formats and nice cameras and lenses and then degrading it down to tape because it it ends up feeling like sentimental it feels like the movies I grew up watching on VHS because they were shot really well on cinema cameras and the versions that I know I watched on VHS tape I was a fan of King Cruel and a big fan of the videos that um, he'd made before I think I'd had this idea kicking around for a while about a purgatory bar. I probably had seen Beetlejuice again recently. That was on my mind, I'm sure. As it turns out, I didn't know this until we got there, but there's a great casting agency in London called Ugly, which just features like interesting looking people, let's say, which was perfect. Exactly what we needed is always what I'm looking for is unique unusual looking people that honestly just feel like real people. It's harder to find that in LA, you know, it's kind of a city of models and attractive folks. So that worked out awesome. And, and I know also the time I had kind of just discovered Roy Anderson and his films and he does this amazing thing with makeup, this really heavy makeup that's kind of theatrical and makes people just sort of look dead or unwell. And I was really captivated by that. It all seemed to come together, you know, to create a nice spooky atmosphere. <laughs> this song was very clearly this kind of rock opera feeling to it. I think for sure I would just seen Zardoz and was really captivated by Sean Connery's ponytail and bikini look. And yeah, it seemed that idea came really quickly. I thought, oh, it'd be great to kind of create this movie that didn't exist with a Barbarella character and a villain and kind of just get to, it was a fun art challenge and a fun wardrobe thing to get to build this world of like a kind of 70s B-movie sci-fi thing. Uh, Lord Huron, Your Other Life, and Ton Autre Vie. If you get the chance to collaborate over and over and over a period of time with an artist, it's the best. He already knew at the outset that he wanted to make two different videos for the two different versions of the song and wanted to build some kind of interactive player where you'd be able to swap between them. So that idea was in place when I got involved because they had the French version and they had the English version and it was a unique chance to do something with that. I was really 
into the notion that the two videos in the player would it be able to overlay so it wasn't a hard cut between them. With that in mind, I, I was thinking about doing this Rashomon thing and, and instead of really being two different stories, having to be one story that's really uh, broken down to like one moment in time and looking at it from two different perspectives. I think musicians are artists and I don't really think of myself that way when it comes to making music videos. And oftentimes artists have, are trying to make a statement and they're trying to, they, they, you know, they write a song and it means something and they're trying to say something and you come in as a director to stick an image onto that that's going to be tied to it forever. And, you know, I've gotten to work with a lot of really brilliant artists, I think, and sometimes that can be a challenge to, for them to kind of get their head around and give in to letting some image you pick and come up with that might be interesting and fun, which is kind of how I approach stuff. You know, it's not so serious for me, and I think that can be challenging for musicians sometimes when you're trying to make a video for them. This video is kind of the first real proper music video that I ever made and made it with my best friends and we started out as a trio making videos together. We reached out to the Radar Brothers who are a band that we loved and said, hey, can we make a video for your song? My partners were both from this small town in Oklahoma, and I think we'd all talked about going back to Texas, Oklahoma to make something, and those guys had a connection through a friend that was working in the oil industry. So we had this idea of going out there, and we cast this fantastic theater actor who was out there in Oklahoma, and we showed up with a little Bolex and our buddy Scotty who was shooting, and you know, got unbelievable locations and access to this working oil rig where they let us throw this actor in and to an incredibly dangerous situation, just working on the rig with them, all for like maybe the cost of a 12 pack of beer or something. As with many videos, I like to have just a powerful ending that leaves you with something and just had this idea to all kind of build up to this moment in this guy's day with this one lighting gag that was about all we could pull off with a skateboard and maybe one light we brought with us from LA. And yeah, it's emotional and uh, simple and I still love it. You're gonna think of things like She's coming. Watch rabbit run, watch rabbit.